Hey guys, and welcome back. So today, before we start the video, I just want to do a quick intro to, you know, this next coming milestone that I'm going to reach. And um, I just want to take some time to also say thank you to everybody that has supported me, all these subscribers, everybody that watches my videos, everybody that comments in my videos. I do appreciate and I do try my best to write back to you guys and, you know, respond to your comments. So the Cast Iron channels that, I, you know, got me inspired to start my own channel was Cast Iron Chaos, Culinary Fanatic, um, Cowboy Kent Rollins, uh, Lady Liberty Stacker, Backwoods Gourmet, uh, Big Blue Barbecue. Um, there's just so many, you know, and if I don't mention it, you know, any of you, I'm sorry, I'm not trying to uh, insult you, Mr. Cast Iron. I'm sorry that I, it almost seems like I didn't want to do the interview, but no, I, I did get sick and that's the only reason why I, I didn't do the interview. But anyway, guys, like I mentioned, you know, um, I, I'm very grateful right now, very thankful, and I'm getting close to that milestone. So I wanted to just say thank you to everybody and hopefully I'll get there soon, you know, cross my fingers that I'll get there soon. So anyway, thank you to everybody who has inspired me and just some, you know, background information about me as well. One of my biggest inspirations actually is my mother. So the food that, that we got to eat as kids growing up was always homemade. Um, so that's where I got my inspiration was just to continue learning from what she had, she didn't really teach me because I, it was my choice to not pay attention. But uh, right now I have my sister that learned from her and she's teaching me some of the recipes that my mother left us. And uh, I'm very grateful for that. So thank you to, you know, my sisters, uh, the inspirations that I've had. So I'm grateful for my mother, grateful for my subscribers, grateful for all the YouTubers, you know, everybody that's putting out great content. Um, and I know it's hard work, believe me. Uh, and you do get tired from it sometimes, but um, I, I love doing what I love doing and I like cooking. I like doing cast irons, uh, you know, tutorials and things of that nature, unboxing. So uh, I hope you guys enjoy this content. Anyway, let's get into the um, into the video. I know I've been rambling on for almost three minutes now, so hope you guys enjoy. And, and like I said, thank you guys for everything. Hey guys, so as you can see, a very large camping Dutch oven. It is extremely heavy. I want to say maybe about 35 pounds. Maybe, yeah, I want to say about 35 pounds, but this is their number 16 from Cabela's. And uh, we're just going to do a quick measure to see what it is. So the inside at the lip would be about 15 inches. So a little smaller than what I thought it would be. Let's see. So the lid itself is actually very heavy, guys. So that's one thing that I noticed right away. As you can see, it says a 16 Dutch oven. Now, one thing that uh, Cabela's is known for is that they actually give you that option. If you want to use a thermometer, they have a small groove here where uh, you can run a thermometer probe for whatever meats you are cooking, which is a nice touch. Now, if you don't want, uh, if you want a tight seal, you can also just twist it and uh, you can actually get a good tight seal so you can steam or, or whatever it is that you're cooking uh, cooks properly and has a good seal. But, uh, as you can see, very well, um, very well packaged, very well seasoned. I do like that a lot. Um, not rough what you know at all actually very smooth compared to some other and i know that th for a fact that this is made in china so it's not like you know um they don't produce these in the usa and i don't think there is any cast iron produced in the usa that's bigger than the the uh, 14 which is a, i think a 10 quart that lodge produces i think that is the biggest one that usa makes but anyway most of the stuff you can get from like um Cajun Classic, I think, and uh, Bayou Classic. They're made in China things. You know, um, same thing with Cabela's. Their stuff is made in China, so um, I'm not going to bash on China. I do like a lot of their products. Uh, there are some good ones and there's some bad ones. Like this one here, like I mentioned, the casting itself looks or feels a lot smoother than, than some other ones that I've seen. Um, recently, I just did a Camp Made video and uh, that casting is just pretty rough and it, uh, not the best one. I want to say that uh, it's kind of similar to the uh, mainstays, the Walmart line or Ozark from Walmart as well. Very rough. The uh, 
seasoning on this, very nice. The texture of it, very nice as well, not rough. The weight on, on the uh, Camping Dutch oven is actually very manageable compared to its size. Not too heavy. I want to say this probably weighs about 15 to 16 pounds and the lid probably weighs the same. So uh, pretty heavy. Very robust. You, you're going to need something that's going to... The only thing that I do wish that they would have added is that spiral handle because I'll be honest with you guys, I've picked this up and it if you have it with a the lid it is extremely heavy and it's kind of kind of hurts your hands so you're gonna want to use two hands for this one but like i mentioned a very nice piece now one of the features as i mentioned is that it has this lip right here which allows you to probe any of the stuff you're cooking here which is whether chicken turkeys i mean you can it's a big size and let's measure this real quick this in itself is about it's close to 16, about 15 and a half on the, well, 15 and three quarters from outside to outside. And uh, the depth on this is five inches. So a good size. The cooking surface, let's see how much that is actually. So cooking surface is about 13 and a half cooking surface. So 16 to 13 so you lose about three inches not too bad and i do feel like this is going to be a great uh, piece to have not only that but if i want to actually use this as an oven because i've seen cowboy kent rollins use his bigger dutch ovens as, as ovens where he'll uh, put another you know like a bakeware cast iron piece inside of it and uh, it just does a great job and that's kind of you know what i want to try as well but Great size for many things, and I do like that a lot. You know, not too fancy down here. Not much, you know, inscribed or uh, casted in it. Just see number 16 on the bottom. Other than that, pretty, pretty basic. So, as you can see, texture is a little grainy, but it is very smooth compared to the recent camp made stuff that I just checked out. Even though this is made in China, it is a lot smoother than the camp made. The lid itself as well, very smooth. And I do want to say that uh, one thing that I did notice is that you could probably cook on this. Just like Big Lou said on his, you could probably use, you know, you can put this on a fire, you know, on some coals and uh, you can cook on it. I mean, this is going to be on the way. So if you want to put it on something flat, the handle is going to be on the way. It won't sit flat. But uh, sure enough, you know, if you put this on a grill or over a campfire, you can definitely cook on this, which is very nice. And you're not going to have any of your food, you know, falling out. So that is a plus. That's one of the things that I do like. And as I mentioned, it does have the indicator so you know where to go if you want to use that probe. And, uh, you know, it tells you here it has both on both sides the indicator letting you know where, where you can set it. And as I mentioned, if you don't want to use that and you want to do a tight seal, you can just twist it and it'll seal it up really well. So other than that, pretty basic stuff. Um, I'm going to give it a coat of seasoning, just like Big Blue. I got to use, uh, I, I tend to like giving this a coat. I mean, it already feels really well greased, like it's oily, but, um, and I do like that a lot, but I do want to give it a coat of my own. I'm going to clean it, give it a coat. But uh, real quick, let's just take a look at what they say. Cabela's cast iron cookware is already seasoned and ready to cook. Follow these simple instructions to care for and maintain your cast iron cookware. Cleaning. Allow cast iron to cool completely. When cool, wash your cast iron thoroughly with a stiff brush and water. Be sure to rinse and dry completely. Note, soap can remove the seasoning of your cast iron if you do not restore it after cleaning. Uh, true, I guess. Not too much. I mean, I use soap here and there, but um, I do like, you know, if I cook something, I tend to just give it, you know, a quick clean with uh, hot water and a bristle brush, and I don't usually use soap. So, um, but it's up to you. You can use soap. That is safe as well. And that's, I mean, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, carry handle used to carry and suspend over a fireplace. Flange lid holds hot uh, coals for all around heating. So you can place coals on this and they're not going to tip over, which is safe. Pre-seasoned finish creates a natural nonstick surface that is easy to maintain. So yes, it is pretty, 
I think they're gonna be great. And I've never had any issues maintaining Dutch ovens, actually. I wanna say they're easier to maintain than skillets. I don't know why, but for me, they're easier to maintain. All my Dutch ovens have uh, a great patina. They, they work great and the seasoning is spot on. So looking forward to this. But anyway, guys, what I think this is gonna be great for is, you know, you can do uh, like, uh, I wanna try birria tacos. So that would include a big chuck roast. And I wanna do something for the family. So obviously I'm gonna need something big and I feel like this is gonna be great for that. So, you know, putting this uh, and, and that actually the birria would have to, the, the meat itself would have to cook for a good, you know, three to four hours. So I feel like this would be great for that. Also, you can probably uh, cook a turkey inside this. I mean, it's big enough, it's deep enough. Chicken definitely uh, fits in there, for sure fits in there. Um, and Or you can deep fry, you know, the French fries or uh, chicken tenders or anything you, that your heart desires, fish, some tilapia or some cod. You can uh, deep fry many things in this. And uh, one of the things that I feel like this would be handy for is actually uh, my family likes making these empanada style, uh, like uh, tacos and you got to deep fry them and usually we add chicken in them and then you just kind of cut them open after you fry the masa and you cut them open and then you stuff them with cheese, uh, some queso fresco, some uh, lettuce, salsa, you know, whatever you like in it. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. I'm going to do some food on this and I'll let you guys know what I think. Like I mentioned first, I'll give it a coat of seasoning. Now let me know before I do all that, let me know if you guys wanna see the process of seasoning this. And if so, I will do a video of seasoning it. Um, I do have a grill that's probably big enough to season this piece uh, all, in one, all in one piece. So I'll probably go that route. Um, I did see Big Blue Barbecue use his um, stove, single burner stove, which is a great way to do it, I feel like. Um, but uh, I, I wanna do the oven or, you know, the grill. I do like doing that, but uh, you know, for woks, let's just talk about woks real quick. That's the way you season a wok. You use a single burner stove and you just put some oil and you, that's kind of what uh, Big Blue Barbecue did with his um, Dutch oven, which I'm sure is a lot bigger. So I'm thinking his is probably around that size. So, you no, know, and I do like that Big Blue uh, does reviews on, on items that are hard to find, I guess you could say, like the uh, oval casserole from um, from uh, Cajun Classic. I did buy one myself, all because of Big Lou. I saw it and I was like, wow, that thing is awesome. And uh, I'm going to do some seasoning on it because mine doesn't really seem to be seasoned. So anyway, there's so many things ahead that I want to do and I will showcase all of that stuff to you. But as I mentioned, let me know what you guys want to see. Let me know uh, anything in the comments about this video. And as always, I appreciate you guys watching. And thank you guys. I'll catch you guys on the next one.